Okay, Konami Computer Entertainment Tokyo presents... Some parts of this game may be considered violent or cruel, Yogi. Okay, so my memory card checks out on the PS2, and we are going to dive in a new game, my friends. So, this is the last Silent Hill to be numbered, and we're going to be tackling Silent Hill 4, The Room. Sweet. So before I do anything, I'm just going to go to the options and make sure that my brightness setting is maximum so we don't have to look at a black screen. This was a common issue in my Silent Hill 2 video and the third one as well. So hopefully that is solved. So I'm just going to go check on options 2 and you can change the blood color if you want between red, purple and green but I'll just keep it red just for simplicity. Okay, so Silent Hill 4, my LP is going to span around 13 episodes. It's slightly longer than 2 and 3, but not too bad. Okay, so let me load my game to the brand new Fear, and I guess I'll just put on easy because it's been a while since I last played the game, but I think I should know how to do it because uh, I do have a fantastic memory. So like I will usually do, I'll just put the maps on the video description. Let's get on to the story. It was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 of the South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. That is not Silent Hill. What the hell? But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. Oh no! What are we going to do? So this is... Probably like a game where you have to find clues and try to escape the room. I think that's what the plot is. Could be wrong, or but I could be right. Okay, so Silent Hill 4 introduces a first person uh, aspect of the game that only occurs when you're exploring the apartment. So this is a pretty unique addition to Silent Hill. I think that's why they tried to revitalize it. So, just going up. Oh my god, a guy screaming, holy shoot. Okay, so pretty much, uh, yeah, Silent Hill, bloody, rusty rooms. Hey, we feel right at home. And I bet ya the door is going to be shut tight. Oh, couldn't be. Okay, so let's see his apartment. Oh, Henry, love what you've done to the place. All bloody and rusty in hell. And no wonder we couldn't leave room 302. Some idiot forgot to program the door. Doi. Well, Henry, happy and enjoying his new life. Well, I guess I wouldn't combine those two words together with a room like this. Okay, so what the hell happened to it? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. What happened to your room? I don't know. Okay, so here we got another cutscene. Looking at the <laughs> decrepit, dilapidated room. Oh, something's happening. It's bubbling like a... They didn't sign Hill 3. Okay, something sputtering out of the wall. Okay, so that's nothing really serious. I hope that's nothing to do with any hauntings whatsoever. Uh, okay, so. Oh, yeah, the creepy face. Oh, no, it's coming back to life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? Okay, everyone, meet Jimmy Stone. Hey, dude, Henry. What's up, brother? I thought I should pop in because you were having a recurring dream. Oh man, look at your place. It's so bloody and rusty. It's so you, dude. Hey, can you pass out the peanuts there? Oh, no, that's okay, dude. I'll just get them myself. Hmm. Hey, you look good enough to eat, dude. Ah, ah, no! <laughs> And of course, my commentaries are going to be very hilarious and very sarcastic, as you'll see. It's so easy to make fun of this game, but uh, you'll see as, a, as time goes by. So, introducing the opening credits of Silent Hill 4. Okay, so this is what the kitchen used to be look like. And considering that South Ashfield Heights is around 20, no, 40 years old, so yeah, it needs a little bit more updating. Okay. He's a man, Akira Yamamoka. He has produced one of the greatest Silent Hill soundtracks. And believe me, this has some scary pieces here. Oh, and it is also the producer of this game. Sweet. Oh, a chest. Hmm. I wonder. I hope they're not going to be putting some Resident Evil-like features in that. Silent Hill 4, The Room. 
unfortunately the last one to be numbered before they started putting head subtitles on there or subject headings okay so uh, here is Henry Townsend yeah plain Jane as it seems with his perpetual five o'clock shadow and his gray shirts we should be killing those monsters with, oh, with delight man. what a dream well, more like a nightmare, I'd say. If you're dreaming up bloody rusty rooms. Okay. Alright, so here is the first person view here. Uh, just look at the phone, and I guess we'll be calling someone. Let's call our friend. 552 5. It's still not working. Ah, oh, they mean to tell me I did that for nothing? Yeah. Okay. All right, Henry. I hope I doubt anyone would call you. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. All right, you better answer the phone, Henry. You never know who might be calling. Hello. Cord's cut. Brilliant observation, Henry. Brilliant. So, yeah, the phone's cut, so we can't really call anyone. Okay, so it's that lake in Silent Hill, known as Toluca Lake. So, uh, this must be the canon ending for Silent Hill 2. Hmm. Alright, so I believe Silent Hill 4 takes place slightly after the events of Silent Hill 2, I think. So this one here is the St. Balkans Church from the first uh, series. And here you can get a brand new scrapbook by pressing the triangle. You'll be able to see your stuff, more pictures of Silent Hill, and the infamous lighthouse from the first series. So appreciate those four pictures because that's about as Silent Hill as this game gets. All right, so we see a nice lady here, uh, pretty hot. <laughs> Yeah, pretty hot. Okay, so she's waiting for someone. So let's see what she's saying. Oh, man, I'm just waiting for someone to come. Oh, man, I need to buy some shoes. So I guess I should go in the subway because I'm about to miss my train. So I'm going to be going down. And then she disappears. Yeah, a lot of traffic in South Ashfield. Okay, so after that cutscene, you're able to explore what's behind the window, room 302. So we see a building here, uh, looks like a hotel, and we see a number, 3750, Bar South Ashfield, and we can spy on our tenants. Oh, you can see the guy down below, he's like jamming to some music, or why would he be walking like that? Hmm, weird. Okay, so let's leave the bedroom and explore our apartment building or apartment room. Okay, so let's check the bathroom. Hmm, everything looks pretty normal to me, so might as well leave. And let's see if we can try to get out of the room. Oh, that could be a problem. Five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. Gee, I wonder why. The phone doesn't work, the TV doesn't work, I can't even get anyone to hear you when you yell. My whole apartment world has certainly tied. Insane. My door is chained up, the windows are shields shut, and on top of that, someone chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here with a little help from John 3800? Don't go out, Walter. What the hell? What's going on here? Yeah, gee, I wonder who opened... Whoa, what was that? Okay, so you can look in your peephole. That's Eileen Galvin from next door. Oh, man. 
hope my luck changes before the party. Let's hope so too. And if you look closely, you'll be able to count at least 15 bloody handprints on the wall. So it goes to show you that the superintendent of this building really cares about his or her tenants. Okay, so let's go into the fridge and see what's cooking. You have some chocolate milk and of course a bottle of white wine. Why not celebrate? We have no working TV, we got no working phones, we got no working internet, no this, no that, so might as well get drunk. So here's a photo of him as a kid and this one here is a photo from Frank Sunderland. Ah, okay, Frank Sunderland. Resident Evil 2, uh, Resident Evil 2, Silent Hill 2, James Sunderland, so it must be related somehow. Okie dokie. So if you look closely near the cabinet, you'll be able to figure out that you'll have a scrap thing that you add to your scrapbook. So I'm not going to read everything. You just, if you want to read it, just pause the video. Uh, but I will focus on some parts. Okay, so the chest could hold a lot of stuff. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, so this is why Silent Hill 4. What? was that okay so back to my train of thoughts unfortunately uh, you have a limited number of items that you can carry so uh, that th could be a problem so if we have a maximum of 10 items we have to bring back the items into your chest so we're gonna have to be back tracking forward back and forth into the apartment building so here we have some tools and things on the ground. Gee, I wonder why couldn't you use the tools and try to unbolt the chains yourself? That would have been helpful now, would it? But anyway, let's go see what's uh, happening in the bathroom because I heard that sound. It was coming from the bathroom, was it? Okay, so upon expansion... Oh yes, we see a little hole here. Okay, so in here you might as well get our very first weapon, the steel pipe, and it's actually pretty useful. Not very powerful, but fairly easy to use. And yes, you hear some people talking in the background. So let us go inside the hole. Now in theory this should be leading to room 301 in your apartment because that would make sense, right? would it? Okay. So, now this is an infamous cutscene that uh, sounds pretty obvious when you think about it. So imagine yourself, what, would you be, what were you thinking when you're looking at this cutscene? It feels like I'm dying and I'm going to heaven and I'm trying to reach to the light, or is it maybe the fact that I'm being born? Kind of, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm being born, you know? You're, you're trying to get out of the, your mother's room and you see the doctor try to get out to your head or to your bum and then spank you so that way he or she can tell you that uh, you are alive. So yeah, that is kind of feel like being born. Alrighty, so where did that lead us? Okay, that sure ain't room 301. Looks like a building with a lot of pipes. Only Mario would love it. And a really long escalator ride. Hmm. And his infamous catchphrase. You already heard it three times, uh, Henry, so you might want to try to say something else. Okay. Hey, he actually looks pretty cool in this, uh... 
video here because oh yeah hey he's gray and the buildings are gray hey if we have any enemies we'll be able to be camouflaged and not see anything okay so if you press triangle it will bring up to your map so let me try to go on to the right side uh yeah so I'm going up to these doors one's about to shut tight and the other one is locked from the other side so I guess we'll be back for that door in a future episode all right so okay we see this uh, girl here ah she looks very familiar we just saw her who are you what's your name Ooh, hi hot stuff Henry and you <laughs> this is my dream and you don't even know my name it's Cynthia. Velasquez. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway, I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. Will you help me find it? I'm kind of scared all alone. I'll do a special favor for you later. <laughs> it's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. And there's uh, Henry saying, Yeah, I get to have some fun with this girl. So we, look at us, we're having a nice all fun time in a abandoned subway wearing some gray shirts and blue jeans so definitely I'll be some camouflage there so if there's any w enemies in there I should be okay so yeah we're just gonna walk and la -di -da -di -da. we're having so much fun and guess what happens another cutscene wait a minute oh. Oh. I think I'm gonna puke. Oh no, don't puke like Eddie. Please. Okay, so I guess uh, Cynthia's changing up the fun now. So I guess who can vomit the most or who can vomit... Okay, remember, that that is just too disgusting. Okay, so I guess we're gonna wait. Taking her long time to actually do what she needs to do. Uh, so yeah, waiting for Cynthia. So fun waiting. Oh, is that you, Cynthia? No, no, it can't be. It's coming from the men's room. Holy sh hey, jungle cat. Wait a minute, that looks like a dog. With a long tongue. Uh oh. We're in trouble. We're in trouble, Skipper. What are they doing? Looks like they're licking. Ah. Like a slush puppy. <laughs> Look at Henry. <laughs> Trying to be all cool and stuff. So, okay. I'm just gonna go. La la la. I touched the dog. Okay. So. Ow. Bad doggy. Sit, boy. Yeah, that, they definitely mess up on the sound effects there. They kind of sound like dogs. When they really should sound like... Well, they should sound like dogs, not cats. Anyway, I don't see Cynthia. I don't see Miss Fantastica anywhere, so where could she be? Uh, she was vomiting a couple of minutes ago. Okay, so check the men's room. I don't think I see anything of interest in here, so I might as well just leave. Okay. Alright, so let's continue to explore our abandoned subway. So, now with the gray shirt, we should be able to whiz past through enemies. Well, I guess maybe not. So, here's a dog here. We'll call him Rover. Sit, Rover. Oh, that's a good boy. It's a good cat. Uh, I mean dog. 
I, you know, it kind of reminds me of Mortal Kombat 3. Whenever you have that jungle cat sound effect, I already. <laughs> wait, wait, we'll see. I'll, I'll show. I'll just show it to you. Okay, shut tight door. Okay. Hang on. All right, let's kill the swan here first. Animality. Ha. <laughs> yeah, animality. So, going over to the left side. Okay, that's blocked. So ignore this uh, worm-like creature. That's not gonna hurt us. So in here we got ah pistol bullets. Yeah. So we are unfortunately able to hold at least 10 items. So like I mentioned earlier, should you have more than 10 items, that means you're going to have to go back to the apartment building. So I will show you how to go back to that building here. Unfortunately, we have, we can't explore the morse of the subway because we need a coin to get on the turnstile. Now, this is an abandoned subway. Couldn't you just jump over the times turnstile but I guess Henry wants to be saved and go by the book so we're gonna have to find a turnstile coin alright so let's go through the hole and that should lead us back to wait 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 I'm being unborn we're going through the hole going back inside the mother's room and Wait for it. Oh, looks like we're in the bedroom. So, you mean to tell me I was just dreaming about this? Oh, yeah, looks like we have. So, we guess we, wake, we woke up in our bedroom. What? Another dream. But it seems so real. With a real girl, too. Or could it be? Was I really inside that woman's dream? Ah, oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? He sure doesn't sound very excited, does he? Okay, perfect. So let's go explore our room. Okay, so let's just check the stuff here. Oh, we noticed that one of our furnitures has moved. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who could that wonder who could that be? Okay, so let's straighten it. Hey, who could have done that? Well, I know four people. Or three people. Could either be Harry Mason, James Sunderland, or Heather Mason. Okay, so manage the tunnel. This no matter no, far, no matter what to do, can't get out. The hallways, the windows, the walls. It feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. I never noticed. So if you check on the floor, you'll be able to get our pistol, which isn't really the greatest weapon in the game. Okay, so you'll be able to spy on your neighbor. Creepy sound effects. Oh, Henry, you're pervert. <laughs> so if you look here, there's Eileen. Hmm. Where did I put that damp room? Oh, there it is. And if you look closely on her bed, you'll be able to see Robbie the Rabbit, a classic mascot for Silent Hill 3 in the Lakeside Amusement Park. So, we have another phone call, but we're just going to wait, and we're just going to drop off our pistol bullets and our pistol. Just going to keep the steel pipe for now. Okay, yeah, one moment, one moment, hold your horses. I can only walk s this fast. Where did you go? Hurry, 
save me. If you need a token, there's one here. Where did you go, Missy? Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering who plays uh, the voice actor, actress of Cynthia Velas, guys, is actually Lisa Ortiz, who's one of the Fox Kids uh, voice actresses that played Amy and Musa from the Winx Club. Okay, at least Eileen is doing the neighborly thing to do, like cleaning up the mess that she made from her groceries. I should tell her, oh, you miss a spot. But I guess she can't hear me for some reason. Okay, so let's go through the hole because there's nothing else to do. Man, I could have used that wine right now. Okay, so now I'm being born again into a Savolzi dream. So we dreamed, oh my god. God, there's a mannequin here. So there's a coin on her hand, and you're going to take that, and it's the Street Lynch Street coin. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's go to one of those turnstiles and see where that coin can be used. So fortunately, Sign Hill 4 shows you where to use it since you'll have a. Um, different computer angle right about here camera angle not computer angle so try to use it there and there we go and would have been so much easier just to jump through the turnstile but I guess not so let's go down and see if we can find Miss Fantastica and guess who makes an appearance hey dude you're in the subway man hey I didn't like your apartment building, dude, but I thought I should get to you. So these are unfortunately one of the worst and the most annoying enemies of the game. Uh, these guys are the ghosts. So here we have Jimmy Stone, which is the first victim that you saw, and then the black guy is named Toby Ultrabolt, who is victim number 14. Hey, Cynthia, there you are. Yes, I'll get you out of here. Hold your horses. Okay, we'll be back for that vending machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's so much fun lock getting locked up in a subway and you can't open up the door. Okay, so going on to the other side, uh, you'll be able to push the exit door. Okay, so that one's shut tight. So you'll be able to see Cynthia come towards you. So that door is locked for the time being, so we're going to unlock it later on. Okay, so there's new ghosts coming here. Uh, to my right is uh, Sharon Blake, victim number 13. You don't have to worry about her, she's actually really weak. So I'll more on the other ghosts a little bit later. Okay, so going through this maze of subway carts so you'll notice that there's a toy box that has the one thousand dollar coin thing here but we'll be back on it I swear mark my words we'll be back for that toy box okay so going over here went through the subway cars very dilapidated oh different music okay so these ghosts can actually hurt you even though that they're not close to you so if you notice uh, Henry is actually uh, putting his hand over his head because uh, these ghosts give them migraines. So you really don't want to stay very long when you see a ghost. And you know the worst thing about these ghosts? You can't kill them unless you have one of these secret weapons. Uh, that won't be featured until the third episode. So you don't have to worry about that for now. Okay, so I'll show you the map where we are. Da 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 da. Da, da. Let's go up to see what we have here. There's more for ghosts. And if you go here, you'll be able to collect some pistol bullets. So again, I, I did forget to mention uh, the number of bullets will affect your difficulty. If you're playing easy mode, you'll get 12 bullets. If you'll get uh, normal mode, you get 10, and hard, you get 8. Okay, so we'll pass Miss Sharon, who's the void. 
Yeah, her death is actually pretty um, gruesome. Okay, so Cynthia was falling behind and now I just lost her again. So, I guess another fun quest. Hide and seek. Find Cynthia. That is our primary objective. Woohoo! Having fun already. Okay, so let's go upside. Upside. Outside. Up the stairs and get some more pistol bullets. And that door is unlocked. And that will give you access to the other side. So that way you don't have to go around those nine subway six subway cars okay so whenever you hear that radio like sound effect static that means that a ghost is nearby and you hear the moaning yeah it's so sad to hear ghosts moan okay so here's some dogs here seems to be a very staple enemy from Sand Hill series. I didn't see one in two. Henry, I found the exit. Oh, you Come did? To the Henry, I found the exit. Come to the turnstile. Hurry! Hurry! All right, Cynthia. I'm on my way. So we know actually know where Cynthia is, so she gave out her location. Darn it. I wanted to play a nice hiding seat game, but I guess that's what she likes. Okay, so three cracks from the whip that will give you the dogs, uh, bring the dogs down. Oh, I did forget to mention, uh, you'll see your health bar on the left side, and the right side you'll see a nine iron. Okay, yeah, on the right side you'll be able to see your... Um, power meter so you can be able to have charged shots and some of these charged shots actually make Harry uh, Henry invincible for a short period of time so here is a nutrition drink uh, <clears throat> health drink but I guess health was drink was eh, not very pleasant to drink so I guess nutrition drink sounds much more healthier than a health drink same effects okay so here we meet a new enemy. I'm gonna call this guy the Wall Master. Or the Wall Man. Okay, they're very annoying, so a couple whacks on their heads and they'll fall down. Yeah, so you'll be able to see our charge meter, which is the circle. And if you do hold it, you have a charge shot, like around now. Okay, no, not this time. Two, three. Okay, let's try this guy. Uh, there we go. That's his charge shot. It actually stuns them, so that's pretty cool. And again, I like the fact that you're invincible during that attack. Ooh! Ow! Son of a gun! Take that! Oh, you're gonna pay dearly for what you did to me. Take that, sucker. <laughs> Man, there seems to be a lot of them. Okay, oh, this one's a little bit hairy. We got two of them right in the same place. Ah, there we go. Kill two birds with one stone. And when you see them retracting, that means that you have defeated them. I'm just gonna try again. Ah, I'm just gonna avoid them. Okay, perf. We are done. And actually recorded four commentaries and I'm choosing the best one and this is the best commentary that I have so far. So if you're going to go forward here uh, and turn you'll be able to see some more pistol bullets. So this is the last of the items that you'll be picking up in the subway. Uh, we actually are done the subway system. So go upstairs and find the exit. I don't know why you find the exit in King Lynch King Street. Oh, something happened here. It must be Cynthia's makeup. So in here we got our last item, which is the Temptation Placard. So we're going down here. Oh, Cynthia. Hmm, trying to fake your own death. Wow, really fun. 
Oh, sh you're dying. Oh, sh oh no. What happened? Are you okay? Oh. It's just a dream, right? Oh. I think I drank too much last night. Oh. I never got to do that special favor for you. I forgot about that. I I feel like I'm dying. I would never say that her girl that's dying is just a dream. Well, I guess she did die from loss of blood. Seems that way. It's amazing that his... Oh, we have a number, 16121. Yeah, notice it's covered on her breast. So, I guess that's where he's gonna touch it. Oh, no, really? And then he does the honorable thing, close her eyes. Yeah, I'm amazed that his shirts are fully clean. Man, I want to know his secret of washing his laundry. And Mary Elizabeth Glynn is singing this song. Beautiful vocals. So, fortunately, here lies Cynthia Velasquez. Dare I say it? Yeah. All out of fun. It was fun while it lasted. Damn, she could have done that special favor for me. And I must have assumed that it probably I meant sexual. Okay, so that sucks. Cynthia Velasquez, uh, may she rest in peace. So we wake up in our apartment building once more. Yeah, what a dream. Sounds good. Oh, sirens blurring in the background, so yeah. that... What's that noise out there? Well, I guess we can go check it out, Henry. If you're really, really curious. And it sounds like uh, ambulance sirens. So that can be... one thing. Wow, very slow. Okay, and I love the fact that whenever you go to the room, the first at least for the first time, there's an ambulance and a police car near the subway entrance. Is it Cynthia? Well, I guess so, or maybe some one j jumped the tracks. Like, yeah. So checking up on our tenants or seem to be okay. Yeah, so every time you go into the room, uh, you'll be able to self-heal. So might as well save those health drinks for later on. As well, ampoule and... Hurry up and get that ambulance! Quit Jose gets. gapping and move her already! Damn, she's got numbers carved into her chest. I wonder if... So you mean to tell me that the ambulance was just parked 30... 30 centimeters away from that? So although there are too many favors, it's getting too many people, maybe I should say just one. The kind of discover what's going on April 8th. So yeah, these red papers actually will piece the plot of uh, this game. All right, so we're gonna save a uh, pretty like, productive video. So thanks for watching everyone. Hope you like it and stay tuned for part two. So yeah.